Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for March 11th. Today's devotion is titled, Out of Our Poverty, and the Bible reading is from Mark chapter 12, verses 38 to 44. As he taught, Jesus said, watch out for the teachers of the law. They like to walk around in flowing robes and be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and have the most important seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at banquets. They devour widows' houses and for a show make, len excuse me, make lengthy prayers. These men will be punished most severely. Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts, but a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins worth only a few cents. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth, but she out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. Warren Buffett and Bill and Melinda Gates made history when they launched the Giving Pledge, promising to donate half of their money. As of 2018, this meant giving away $92 billion. The pledge made psychologist Paul Piff curious to study giving patterns. Through a research test, he discovered that the poor were inclined to give 44% more of what they had than wealthy people. Those who felt their own poverty are often moved to greater generosity. Jesus knew this. Visiting the temple, he watched the crowds drop gifts into the treasury. The rich tossed in wads of cash, but a poor widow pulled out her last two copper coins, worth maybe a penny, and placed them into the basket. I picture Jesus standing up, delighted and astounded. Immediately, he gathered his disciples, making sure they didn't miss this dazzling act. This poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others, Jesus exclaimed. The disciples looked at each other, bewildered, hoping someone could explain what Jesus was talking about. So he made it plain. Those bringing huge gifts gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything. We may have little to give, but Jesus invites us to give out of our poverty. Though it may seem meager to others, we give what we have and God finds great joy in our lavish gifts. What does it mean for you to give out of your poverty? And how can you give everything for Jesus today? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.